Hi, I got this question yesterday in my community where I teach ETAPS and then I thought I will make a video to answer this particular question. Hi sir, how to model conceal beam in ETAPS? Hi all, this is Premjit here from civilera.com. Modeling a conceal beam in ETAPS is nothing but then understanding if there is something called a conceal beam is another thing. So let me just explain you a bit about this. Consider a slab something like 5 meter by 6 meter. So let me just quickly draw that here. Something like say 5 and 6 meter. Now assume that you have some columns. I am not bothered about the orientation at this point in time. I am just sketching it to just show some columns. Now in case if you had a column here, I would have given a beam here to tie this particular column. Now, if I am giving this and if there is an architectural problem to give this tie, then I would give this as a concealed tie and I will call that as a concealed beam at times. But then please note that this is not going to be a beam. This is just going to be a tie. It will tie this column to ensure that its slenderness is not that great. If it sways, it's going to be slightly restrained by this tie. Providing a concealed tie is better than not giving a beam or anything there. But certain young engineers feel that this beam also can be taken as a beam and then ensure these slabs are split into two. I would recommend you not to do this any time. What I mean to say is if you don't have a column here and then if you are giving a beam here a concealed beam the so-called concealed beam here and then try to split this into three meter three meter two different slabs then you are in for a problem even if you have a column here you are providing this only to tie the column you are not going to split the slab into two now before explaining this why i will show you the same thing replicated in etabs and then show why i say this now i have already modeled a slab here it's in the other direction though the concealed beam i have given in the other direction so if you see this this is a concealed beam i will show you the section properties you can see that the one called concealed have a very less thickness here 100 by 100 so that's how you can model a concealed beam i won't encourage you to call that as a beam it's just a part of the slab it's not going to be behaving as a beam i will show you this right now so i have applied some loads here and then i have done the analysis and then i'm going to show you the bending moment diagram of this particular beam first so let me go to the bending moment diagram so i have taken the necessary load combination and i am showing the beam bending moment so you can see here this beam is not attracting any moment whereas if you see the other beams you have the moments displayed there so you can see that this particular beam is not attracting any load and that's the reason that it is not bending now mind you that this slab is modeled as a shell so that the accurate behavior is captured now let me also display the slab moment here now a quick display of the moment now you can see that your maximum moment it's huge 19 or something like that is here and even if you move away from that beam the so-called beam it's a part of the slab actually because it's a concealed strip or it is just 100 by 100 which is just there it's just a dummy beam being present there so in reality when you have the slab as a shell which is the reality in sight as well what will happen is that particular strip 100 by 100 or even if it's a bit more wider what it will do is it will act as the part of the slab it's not stiff enough to bend that's the reason it's not attracting that particular load that you expect it to attract as a beam and it's not deflecting and it's not showing any bending moment diagram you have seen that just now so what does that mean that means that your slab is still acting as a single panel from here to here as a single panel a large slab and this beam has no say in that behavior it's a part this modeled beam is a part of your slab it's only a stiffener there even if you are 
providing through and through reinforcement inside that beam and then call it a concealed beam it's never a beam it's not acting as a beam you can see here the moment is very large now what is the problem with this without realizing this if you accidentally detail it that is if i draw it in the other way if i have the slab in this manner and then if i have a beam the so called concealed beam and if i detail this i will better also draw the beam here and let me just draw it here as well and if i detail this particular slab in this manner with a break in the reinforcement as two different slabs and if i design this as s1 with this much span say 3 meter by 5 meter or 6 meter whatever it is and this also as a 3 meter by 5 meter and then decide the steel say you may get it at 250 and provide it in this manner by curtailing or by cutting it or separating it as two different slabs you are waiting for a disaster because in the model you already saw that the maximum moments are in this line which means you cannot it at 250 means when you are staggering your curtailment you will end up with it at 250 in that particular location even it is not continuous so these two points or these two mistakes will make your slab crack up there so please be careful if you are adopting something like that ensure that you design this entire slab as a single slab and don't separate that into two different slabs now i recommend you to use a conceal strip only to tie columns at times and slightly to distribute a concentrated line load when there is a wall on top of your slab i don't recommend you to split your slab wherever you are giving that small strip that's not a beam that's never going to behave as a beam as you think so that's all from me today i thought i will answer this particular question since i got that in the forum so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it helped you to understand the significance of ensuring the slab as a single panel when there is a very less stiff concealed beam provided